Hi guys. So I have not had the chance to make more variety of videos for Vlogmas just because, well, I intended to do a lot of different things, um, but I'm just proud that I've made it as far as I have. Clearly what I've been doing is the least popular option because there's like four people watching those videos. Now, the point isn't for views, but it sucks to put that much effort into something that I know that, well, it's selfish really for me because I want to be able to look back at that stuff. But at the same time, I don't know, it's not the only reason why I do this clearly is to reach out and be in touch with you guys. I know a lot of people are busy this time of year and a lot of people probably have other videos to watch, which I'm sure I mentioned is one of the many reasons why I have not participated in Vlogmas. Also, I used to run an Etsy store, which I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm being completely honest and just proud of my success. Um, it was very busy and very successful. So I, you know, and I was, and I, I never said no. So I always had a lot more work cut out for me this time of year than what would allow to do, you know, not only recording videos, but also editing them. Um, it's been a tough few days with sleep again. Um, I'm trying to work out some solutions for her. Uh, I'm coming to find out that from 2 to 5 a.m., there's just a pit there where she's got trouble sleeping. Um, I know in adults, that's an adrenal fatigue thing. For babies, that's a whole different story. Um... But even on nights that she sleeps well, like the best case scenario, she will sleep through the night with the exception of waking up to feed at 3.30, 4.30, and 5.30, like clockwork. I mean, sometimes it's a little 10 minutes earlier or later, but rest assured, or don't rest, she will wake up three times minimum on, on the dot on those times, um, even on her best nights. So there's something going on there. Um, there's some reason for that. But I really don't care. I really don't mind. Um, the nice thing about being on keto is that I feel very rested. So when she wakes up, I'm just kind of up. I wake up. I just bounce. I just I got spring in my step. The hardest time for me to wake up is my final waking, which means I think that means I've slept too long, if that's a thing. Right? If you... If you get to a point where you, you're tired when you're getting up, that means you've overslept. I don't know. But she's sleeping later and later, and I'm going to try to work on getting her to bed earlier. It's just hard because all that does is lengthen my night and make it harder. I, I don't know. How do I explain? If I put her to bed earlier, regardless of whether or not she seems like she's tired enough to go to bed earlier... It just takes longer to put her down. And then she just wakes up more times because she's normally awake then. Uh, maybe eventually she'll get used to it and, and she'll be sleeping then. But I just come to find if I try and put her to bed even 20 minutes earlier, it's just 20 minutes more of me trying to put her to sleep. So um, maybe that's lazy on my part that I'm just trying to skip that. But I don't know. So... But anyway, um, you know, sleep deprivation has meant, in the night, has meant that I have been sneaking naps. Not even sneaking. I've been just enjoying the beauty of a daytime nap with her when she does go down for um, one of her, at least one of her naps for the day. Um, I tend to sleep also. And then the other time I usually shower and if you have been watching my other videos, you know I have not been, not much makeup has been worn. So this activity that I'm participating in currently is, this is a special moment just for you guys. But today I am a little bit stressed out. Um, I remember when I was dealing with fertility struggles, when women who had previously dealt with fertility struggles would talk about things like the first birthday and they would complain about aspects of preparing for it. I, like my blood would run cold with anger and jealousy and I almost always wanted to type, at least you have a first birthday to celebrate. 
Um, and that was the real bitter, angry, hurting side of me. Um, but sometimes I would feel like women would forget that. Now I know that that's not true at all. Um, in fact, I think that that's what, if I had to guess, because that's what I'm doing, I'm displacing the, um, like the bittersweet pain of knowing that my little baby is gonna be a year old in like 15 minutes. It's gonna be, oh. I'm displacing that anger and frustration, but it's a beautiful thing. So it's not even true anger or despair, but it just pulls at you, you know? Like anyone who is a pet owner, when you have a pet that's getting older, it's the same kind of thing. It's a different, it's a very different thing. But when you have a pet and when somebody asks how old your pet is and you have to say that they're over 10 years old and you just see the reaction that somebody else has, like, oh, that's the, they're getting up there. It's the same kind of thing. It's just that rapid passing of time that you just can't do anything about. Um, and some days it feels like a handful of water that's seeping through your palms and other days it feels like a glass of water just knocked over in an instant. So, you know, I think that that's a lot of it. And it puts people in this existential crisis where they don't know how to deal with it. So what they do is they get mad about catering issues or, um, you know, rental availabilities and things like that. So what I was focusing, and I've been real chill about this first birthday business. Like I barely have any of it planned. Um, and I don't know if that's because I am a procrastinator by nature, if it is because it's a little bit painful to think about, or if it's just that I'm not, I'm, I'm just, just that chill about it, which might be possible. Um, I always feel bad because I think back to times when my sister was planning birthday parties for her children and I'd be like, just do this. It's not that big deal. It's not, you know, it's not their wedding. And even if it was their wedding, because that's how I was about my own wedding. I'm like, it's just a party. So I don't know if that's what's going on, but um, I realized I have to kind of get it into gear because it's this month. It's also the weekend after Christmas and of New Year's. So that limits me in a lot of ways. So I made a decision yesterday. <laughs> to limit the amount of um, stress that I was having about one thing, which was dessert related. So you guys know I don't, you know, I try really hard not to anyway, on a regular basis, don't eat sugar anymore. And that means I barely ever bake. And if I, you know, if I do, it's not, it's not pretty and it's not being presented in any way, but I have photos for her first birthday um, you know, I know some people do them quarterly or every three months for the first year. Yeah, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying, math. Um, I only chose to do newborn photos and then one year and I took the rest myself, but I realized it was getting increasingly difficult and I wanted these to be real special because I'm not going to do this again, you know, until she's probably a senior in high school. So, oh, 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 those words. So yeah, um. So I have a photo session and I was talking over with my mom when I booked it when she was like six months old and I was like, oh, you know, don't you think that I could just bake my own cake and it doesn't have to be a big deal because it's for photos. Well, now I realize how difficult it is for me to just do things like turn the laundry over or empty the dishwasher without her wanting to be picked up or trying to burn the house down. So. <laughs> I realized that that's a really bad idea. Plus, I have a tendency, no matter what, even if it's just a Tuesday night dinner, to make something, follow a recipe to a T, and hate it or have it not turn out. And that's money and time wasted. And I'm near tears as Mike stands in the kitchen with a mouthful of it in his cheek going, it's not that bad. And I just could see this happening. And her photos are at 9 a.m., I will not have time to make a replacement if it doesn't go well. I'm not gonna spend my whole day baking and messing up the whole kitchen, so. Because I don't even know what I'm gonna have her wear yet. <laughs> so I decided, Carissa, you are going to just buy a cake because it will be cheaper, at least the cake that I'm buying because it's from a grocery store. It will be cheaper and easier as one less thing you have to worry about. Don't do that to yourself. Don't make yourself, you know, crazy. And 
I thought, well, while I'm doing that, I'll have to look for the desserts for her party. So if you saw my Insta story yesterday and I was joking about how difficult it is to find custom desserts for a party the weekend of Christmas, most boutique type bakeries are closed or they're booked or they're just really expensive. And um, if I wanted to just go the grocery store route, which there's nothing wrong with, absolutely nothing wrong with. But the reason why I didn't initially do that is because her party theme is Lisa Frank, which I think I mentioned in yesterday's video, if you didn't see it already, um, which is very brightly colored. And all of her decorations are very brightly colored. And most places around here in the last few years, I'm not complaining, it's awesome, it really is. But they switched to vegetable derived dyes. So again, this I mentioned it in my video yesterday, but the grocery store I go to, if I were to buy <laughs> cupcakes or cake or whatever frosted from them, it would look really bad. So anyway, you can refer to that yesterday's video for more on that because I'm not going to just repeat myself and waste time on talking about that again. But I think I'm coming up with a solution. I think I'm getting closer to that which I need to do because it's just rapidly, I guess I just thought maybe if I ignored it, it would take longer to get here or something. But instead, it's like any deadline that you've ever had, any paper you've had to write, the longer you put it off, the more quickly it feels like it's, it's all due. So, man, do my lips feel dry. I think this is the only thing I have. Anyway, all I have to do is go to the store today to pick up the cake. I went and I special ordered it yesterday. Um, it's just very plain. It's just white. I'm doing very simple. Um, but this photographer is somebody I found through Facebook and I'm really excited to see what she does because I really like her work. The photographer that we use for her newborn photos and for our holiday card this year, she doesn't really do cake smash. I'm sure she would have if I had asked her, but she would have had to do it in our home and that's a lot of cleaning and stress and prep that I'm not really into. And I like the look of you know, the backdrops and the over the top props and stuff. It's like, just do that once, it's fun, you know? But I hope there's no hard feelings from the other photographer that we use if she ends up seeing these. I don't know, I just feel like I get a loyalty to somebody, you know? But anyway, how are you guys? What is your biggest struggle right now, holiday related or otherwise? Look, I just cleaned this brush the other day and it's so dirty. I mean, I don't clean my brushes nearly as often as I used to, and I did not clean them up very often before. But, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've been, I'm really proud of myself for being as laid back about the whole birthday thing. Um, I did send out the invites really early. On like December 1st, I sent out the invite, and I just did a Facebook invite. I decided I'm not going to mail them to people because... It's hard enough to get people to RSVP to a Facebook invite, let alone something where they have to look up my phone number or email address if they don't know it or whatever. So, and I'm trying to keep it just a family. She has a couple of little friends that she has playdates with, but um, I decided I just, she, you know, she's so young and those kids are so young and people have so much to do that time of year. I figured I'm just going to keep it to family. Um, I don't know. I'm feeling bad about that though because it's only a few more people and if they can't come they can't come right so anyway but what else you guys what else is going on oh Santa can we talk about how I'm a huge hypochondriac <laughs> and a huge just a terrible disease disease based fear monger so on Good Morning America the other day they were talking about how there's an app where you can look up where people are rep reporting to have the flu and other various other illnesses, I guess. And I haven't downloaded it yet. In fact, I don't even remember what it was called. I think it was called like sick weather or cold weather, flu weather. No, no cold weather doesn't make sense. Anyway, um, I thought I really should not, but I've been scared to take her to see Santa because I don't want her to get sick, um, especially not with her first Christmas and with her photos coming up. At least if we can get past her photos, then I think we'll do it. But um, <laughs> I don't know, I just, like, oh man, I don't want her to get sick. And plus the flu is very, it's it's a serious thing. You know, I do believe in vaccinating and I, I have had her vaccinated, but still. Um, and I've been vaccinated, so has Mike. And I don't, 
purposely go to like play places or anything this time of year for that reason. But I just, I'm like, oh, she's gonna hate it anyway. She's gonna cry, she's gonna hate Santa. I just know it. Why am I gonna put her through that? So I don't know, what do you guys think about that? I, the reason I asked is I don't know if you guys remember, but two years ago, was it 2015? I took, everybody acted like it wasn't related with the exception of the doctors in the hospital, they kind of had, you know, they kind of raised an eyebrow, but I took my niece to go see Santa, and that day, I developed a staph infection in my face that I had to be hospitalized for on like the 20th of December. And I had to show up to Christmas with like a big scabby, misshapen face. So I'm a little weird about that anyway, which I'm sure it wasn't necessarily something I picked up at the mall. Oh, too much blush. But it could have been, right? So, anyway. Do I sound complainy? I, th I feel like I have a fun attitude about, like I like to joke about things, but I'm finding that Mike is taking it wrong lately. I don't know if it's because of he's like if he has stress at work or what it is, but he does go through these periods of time where when I joke like that, especially when it's sarcasm or it's just like self-deprecating stuff, he takes it seriously. And it reminds me of when I was younger, when I first speaking of math, I brought up joking <laughs> about math being bad at it, but I remember when I was in middle school, I was going to like a resource room for extra help with math. And it was a male and a female teacher and they that was what they did all day was they helped students with things like that. And I remember one day going in there and I was just trying to be very comedic about it. They were very lighthearted and laughed a lot and we joked a lot. But when I walked in, I was like, guys, I don't feel like doing this today. You don't feel like doing it either, do you? And they were laughing kind of a lot. They seemed really amused by it. And it was just a very brief one-time joke that I made that day. But then when I got a review back at the end of the, the like term with their help to talk about how I was doing, they said that I had a negative attitude. They said I had a bad attitude. Now, it's embarrassing to have to be helped for something that everybody else seems to just get. So I don't know if maybe I had an attitude that I didn't know about, but I'll, all I remembered was that one day saying I didn't want to be there. But we were all laughing about it. And I thought, wow, they really, I read the room wrong and they were not, maybe they were just nervous laughing because they couldn't believe what I was saying. I don't know, but wow i wasn't being insubordinate i didn't refuse to do the work i actually did it so it sucks you know when you i don't know see i'm complaining about people thinking that i'm complaining so i wanted to talk about some things maybe i'll make a video if you guys are you guys interested in some stuff i've bought on amazon that i'm really excited about um or just things i've bought in general that i'm really excited about like on Good Morning America deals and steals. Um, I don't get, trust me, I don't get money. I barely get money for doing this. I don't get money for telling you guys about these things. If you do run out and buy them after the fact, I'm not, I don't get anything from that. Um, I know there's a ton of YouTubers who do, they get affiliate links and stuff, but it's just stuff that I bought that I'm like, wow, I hope people know about this. I don't know, let me know if you, here's one, here's one. Actually, I didn't get this on Amazon. I got this at Kohl's. I have no idea what I paid for this. I grabbed it as an impulse at the register. Did I ever tell you guys about these? But this is the, I don't know what brand. Oh, that's funny. The color is pretzel brown. Well, if that isn't just a craving waiting to pop up. Who loves pretzels as much as I do? Nobody. Except why do they always have to be covered in butter? And I love butter, but butter does not belong on a pretzel. I know that that's a controversial, like I love the old fashioned pretzels that hang on the thing, you know, the big soft pretzels that you can get at like a racetrack or a carnival or whatever, who goes to carnivals? You know what I mean? Like a county fair. I just want those, like the big doughy ones with the rock salt and that you dip in a like nacho cheese. I don't want those Auntie Anne's thin, covered in butter, like sometimes I got 
cinnamon on them, no. But I think I'm in the minority because everybody prefers those and everything tastes like that now. Not that I eat those anymore, but still. Whew. Anyway, pretzel brown hair tie. There was three in this box. It's called the Invisibobble Traceless Hair Ring. It looks like an old telephone cord. For you youngins out there who don't know what that is, telephones used to have a cord. But anyway, <laughs> um, they start off real small like this, but they do get stretched out. This is a game changer, you guys. Oh, this one's all covered in cat hair. Nermal's probably playing with it. Mike picked it up off the floor. <laughs> Like a cat hair snow globe um always at my house so anyway i thought like this would get caught in my hair or it wouldn't hold well or i just thought that's a really stupid purchase but i made it anyway and boy was i wrong i never want to use a hair tie again like now when i go to use one of these it just i feel like i'm fighting with it and it's not doing what i want it to because what i want it to do is be like this if you guys get a chance to find these and and use them uh, I just bought more at the grocery store. It's a different brand and they're different. They're a little bit different. They're thicker. They're not as um, round like these. They're, they're like a flatter. I don't know how to describe it, but they were only 99 cents for four of them. So I can't imagine I paid much more for these at Kohl's. Maybe it was $1.99. I hope it wasn't more than that, but you, you guys know Kohl's. So if I didn't have like five stacks of Kohl's cash and my credit card with me and one of those scratch off coupons and an email and like a secret password somebody whispered to me at the door I didn't get a discount on them and they were probably five dollars but I don't care it was totally worth it they're really they're the best they're the best okay so that's it I, I told you about that if you guys want a video on that I guess I can make one someday if I have time what else so yeah, I have to pick up Vera's cake today. She's taking a nap right now. She did not sleep well last night. Um, well, at least from two to five she didn't. The rest of the time she was good. But, um, so that's that's a tricky time. But yesterday when I went to order the cake in person, because it was I tried to call and I could tell that they were really busy. So I went there and it was way better to just walk in the door even though it was more work for me, I don't know. Why am I being polite to people? <laughs> it's because I worked retail at Christmas time, so I get it. I think that's probably why, but anyway, I went there and she slept on the way home in the car and that kind of served as her nap yesterday. I think I did mention this yesterday. I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot. Like I'm getting deja vu, but I know it's not deja vu. I totally said these things. So, um, so I might just do that today when I go pick up the cake and have her just nap on the way home. Um, which is fine because then I don't have to walk around the house real quiet and worry about if I sneeze or anything because um, if I vacuum she won't wake up but if I if I go then she I'll see her start all awake in the <laughs> in the baby monitor you guys might think I'm exaggerating but I swear that happens so what else? I have to figure out some outfits to bring for her for her photos. I have that dress. I don't know if you guys remember. I got a little like choked up talking about it because it's a 12 month dress. It was like a $25 dress. I think it was Cherokee brand. I found it on a clearance rack at Target when I was only like eight or nine weeks pregnant and I was really nervous about buying it because that was going to be a real hard thing to have to pack away if things didn't go well. But I just, it just spoke to me. It was like the perfect color. It has little like silver twinkles in it. And it was a 12 month size. And I thought, well, I could have her have 12 month photos taken in it. And it's like, it's happening, you guys, it's happening. So, I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I already, I've, I think I've already talked to you guys about how heavy it feels to know that you're just living in a really good time. You know, to just know that, you have so much to appreciate that it just like, it's like burdensome to carry the happiness around because it's just so thick and it just really hits me sometimes. And, and then in those moments when I'm not fully cherishing and soaking in the moment, I feel guilty because I'm like, you don't even know how good you have it right now. You do, but you also don't because there's gonna be so much about this that later you're gonna realize what's even better than you realized in those days. I'm just so caught up in my life right now. I just, I just am. And I 
feel like I've, I haven't expressed the gratitude enough and I don't even know who I need to direct it to. And I know a lot of you guys are religious and I completely respect that, but I never have been. Um, I did a lot of soul searching on that when I was younger and it just never happened for me. Um, I did, I exposed myself to a lot in hopes, but it just never got there. But sometimes at a time like this, I just feel like I just need to make sure if there's anybody out there that they know that I appreciate my life right now. So, so, let me just touch up yesterday's mascara that I'm crying through and uh, wrap this up because it's getting really long. It is really long already. Um, I feel like I didn't even say anything. Sometimes I don't rewatch these either. I just, you know, these ones where I don't have to edit it, <laughs> thank goodness. I just put it out there and hope for the best, but I don't know. So that's what's going on. Lots of prep for the birthday. Um, unfortunately, it's been overshadowing my Christmas prep a little bit. Oh, and I do want to put out there. My, so my sister posted this on Facebook yesterday. Ugh, I feel really bad that this happened to her. But um, if I can help anybody else with this information. Man, I need a mirror. I don't have one right here. Um, if I can help anybody else with this information, it's worth it. But she said that the Black Friday purchases that she made online, she just kind of stacked the boxes up because she was going to just wrap them all in one session on like the day before Christmas Eve. That's Festivus, right? And for some reason, she just had a moment yesterday and decided to open the boxes. And then when she did, she realized that Target, I think it was Target, charged her for items that she ordered online and said that they were in the box on the packing slip, but they weren't in there. And then of course, when she went to Target to address it, um, they couldn't, they're sold out like nationwide of whatever it was that she bought. So if you happen to be one of those types, you might wanna check um, and see. I had something be wrong too, but I can't remember what it was, but mine was a more fixable, oh no, no. So long before they actually, I'm kind of proud of myself for picking up on this. Last year I bought a Hatchimal before anybody else even cared about them. Because my sister said, I think, I think Maya might like one of these. So I just bought one for my niece for her birthday. Because um, her birthday is in, early in January. So I was buying it with other stuff in preparation for having the baby. So I got it in like October and a few weeks later they were impossible to find. This year I saw something that said that a fingerling monkey was gonna be so popular and I was like, that's weird, but it's way cheaper than the Hatchimal was last year and mama's on a budget. So <laughs> um, last year I had two incomes, this year we don't. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get a couple of those for my nieces. I ordered them right away. Of course, I went to my trusty Amazon. I didn't realize that there were all these knockoffs though. So of course, I accidentally or unintentionally ordered knockoffs that never showed up. Um, they said they were coming from China and then one day they just deleted my tracking number and then the next day they deleted all of my account history with them except for just the purchase price. So I had, I waited very patiently but after it exceeded the time, the shipping time, I had to report them and they just refunded me. It was like, there was no, they didn't get any repercussions on their end. They just didn't have to provide me with the item. And of course, again, by then it was early November and they were completely gone and impossible to find unless they were a knockoff and the reviews on the knockoffs were terrible. So I felt like the worst ant in the world, but then again, they didn't know I was gonna buy them those. Instead, I got the mermaid tail blankets, which personally, I think they'll get a lot more use out of and a lot more enjoyment out of for a lot longer. So hopefully, I don't know. But anyway, um, I don't even know where I was going with that. Oh, just, just check your packages, people. Package check. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, now that I feel like I've been a complete mental patient here, um, talking all sassy, crying in your face, and then making weird PSAs about online orders that you don't probably even need. 
I'm gonna go. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this is somehow more of what you guys were interested in for Vlogmas. And if there is something that you wanna see more of, please let me know. Um, I'm not promising that I'm gonna do it, cause I, I'm not. <laughs> But I can't do it if I don't know about it. So just let me know. And I hope you guys are doing well. I'll talk to you tomorrow.